welcome back to another tying video. I'm out on the water today. We're gonna be tying the shark because it's the shark. Okay, there's three main reasons that I like this fly. Reason number one, this fly represents everything and nothing all at the same time. It's an imitative pattern, it's an attractor. And attractors just plain work. Um, there are times when you can use a different fly and have a little bit more success if some hatch is happening. But I always kind of start my process with an attractor unless something's happening on the water. That's reason number one. Reason number two that I like this fly is that it works in all seasons. You can fish this fly in the summer and catch fish. You can, right now I'm out on the water and it's winter and I'm still catching fish with this fly. You can catch fish with this any time of the year, year round. And then reason number three that I like this fly so much is that you can tie it in a lot of different sizes. You can tie it from an 18 all the way up to a size six. A six, you know, could possibly imitate a stone fly or something like that, but you can try it in all different sizes, all different shapes, all different hook styles. Um, super versatile fly. And that's the, those are the three main reasons that I like this fly. So let's get into tying it. Okay, so in the vise I have a Fulling Mill 5125 hook, jigged hook, and a size 16. I'm going to start my thread. There, get that attached. I'm going to run this thread all the way back to where essentially the bend or where the barb would be. I'm going to take some goose biats right here. And you can see I kind of, what I'll do is I'll splay them out so that um, you can get a hold of just a couple of them. So they're kind of splayed like that. I'll take them in that hand. And then I'll go down to the base, cut them like that. And then I just kind of have them like that and I take one of the biots and I flip it over and I align those back up so that they're how I want. See, they're kind of like that. There's kind of a angle to them. And then I'm gonna put one on either side of the hook shank, transfer to my other hand, and then make a fairly tight wrap and then wrap forward like this. So you just have this little tail right like that. See how those are splayed and they're on either side. And then I'll come in here, trim off the excess, wrap back over that, clean that up a little bit, all the way up. Now I'm gonna take my copper wire and I'm gonna jam this right up in that little hole right there behind the bead. I don't know if you can see that. It's that little hole there. I jam the wire up in there. Kind of go down a little bit, capture that. And then I'm gonna take my three stripped peacock quills here. Um, and I'm gonna kind of match up the ends like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and snip those off so they match. And then I'm gonna tie these in at the same time as the wire just to kind of save some wraps and to make it easier. Wrap that back. It doesn't, you don't, at this, at this point, you don't have to have um, touching turns. You can just do loose wraps all the way back, just like this, and then I'm gonna come back forward. I'm gonna take those three pieces of peacock curl, wrap towards myself to create a nice little body here. Um, you don't really have to worry about the taper on this fly, it doesn't seem to matter, so. If they're uniform all the way up, it's great. The magic of the fly is really the material, this peacock curl, for some reason, fish love it. Um, I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna wrap towards myself. All the way up like that. Capture that, just like, just like this. And then I'm gonna helicopter this wire off. Just like that. Okay. Now, next step is to create a dubbing loop. I use this little tool here. I loop the thread over. Just like this. So now I've got this little loop here. 
and that is where our CDC collar is going to go. So I've got that. Now I'm going to take my CDC feather right here. And I'm going to use one half of this feather and I'm going to jam it up in between those two pieces of thread just like that. And I'm going to come in with my scissors and trim off that outer piece. Now I'm going to go ahead and spin this up just like that. So now we've got a nice little dubbing loop of CDC. I'm going to wrap this around a few times, build up a nice little collar just like that. That's almost a little bit too much. You don't need a lot of this. Cinch that down a little bit, capture it, come in here and snip this thread off. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. We're gonna make a couple wraps in front just to capture that. So if you have some long ones in there, what I do is I just pinch this down, take my thumb and trim, pinch that off right at the, about the length of the body, just like that. Now I'm gonna take my Hens Spectra Dub. I like this orange color. It's a number 98. Uh, I also tie this with um, just Peacock Ice Dub. Peacock Ice Dub is like kind of the version that I use um, when I need something a little bit more natural. If the fish aren't responding to this orange Ice Dub, that's what I switch to. So just a couple wraps there. Then we're gonna take our whip finish tool and finish this fly off. Do a couple there, and I build this up a little bit. Like some of my flies, I wanna hide the thread. This is one of those flies where you wanna actually see the contrast of the thread there. So just do a few whip finishes, just like that. Broke my thread off, probably not the way you wanna do it. Come in here and trim that thread off. It's ugly. There we go. So. That's your finished shirt. I find this thing works for me everywhere. Go fish it.